Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Duamel Bentley and today, girl, do I have a review for you. I have been trying these lipsticks for a while now. I know they're not the latest launch, but I think they're good quality and I think they're very long lasting and I really wanna bring something a little bit different to the table. Since we've been really working a lot, I wanted to bring this L'Oreal brand into the channel. Girl, I'm a little frustrated because already we're starting a little bit crazy. Do you see this? Let's talk. Okay, so the product I'm talking about today is going to be the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick from L'Oreal Paris. These are gonna be the ones over here. I bought three different shades because I love the shades, I love the scent. But I don't know if I'm loving the formula as much as I thought I was going to. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, really beautiful shades. They have six really beautiful shades in this chocolate collection. They smell incredible. To me, they smell like a cup of milk and Oreos. It's just so delicious and beautiful. Once they're on your lips, they don't really smell like much. They are $9.99 and I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know if I got a bad batch or what is going on. The one that I have on right now is the Box of Chocolates. Extremely beautiful mauve brownie tone, but I don't know what's going on, but my lips literally are sticking together like maniacs. Like, look. That's not normal. Funny enough, when I first got these, every time I get a new lip or new products in my home, I and it claims to be long wearing, you know, matte, all of these, you know, long wearing claims, I normally put them on my hands and I go do dishes and I compare it to other different brands. And these guys, out of every single one of the lipsticks that I put in my hands, they were the winners. They lasted a very, very long time. However, I don't know if it's just this formula, but she's really sticky, which I'm a little disappointed over. That is definitely not a cute look. So let me do this. Let me tell you, this is going to be 0.21 full ounces. It's 9.99 for all of them individually. Beautiful tones. Let me take this one off and let me see if this one may have just been a bad batch. Uh, or, or just, I don't know, maybe the formula is dead. I don't know. Let me take her off. Let me put other ones that I have here. And let me see if that's just its normal behavior because ugh, I'm so in love with the color. I think it's just such a beautiful, sexy tone. Let's see what the hell's going on here because L'Oreal girl, don't make this your first step in this channel being this crazy. Let me go ahead and take this one off and I'll be right back. So I wanted to come on here really quick and show you, taking this off, how long lasting these guys are. I have a makeup wipe fresh and wet. Girl, nothing is coming off, nothing. Like, she's bulletproof. But why is she so sticky? I don't get it. Like nothing, nothing is coming off, nothing is smearing, like, that's impressive to me, but I don't like my lips to be this sticky. So let me try and see if with an oil makeup remover this will come off and I will be right back. All right, after almost scraping my lips off, she's out. Nothing that a good old oil cleanser or an oil-based makeup remover couldn't do. She's really beautiful tone, but I don't know what the hell happened. Like she was angry. She was here to fight me. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let me try this new shade. It's called Dose of Cocoa. Let me do this, let me swatch it. This one is Box of Chocolates, which is the one that we literally just had on. Ah, such a beautiful color. The wand pays off really, really well. Like that was just one swipe and look how rich and delicious that pigment is. Again, that was Box of Chocolates. Um, let me go up to Dose of Cocoa. Another beautiful, beautiful, almost gray nude. 
Mmm, this formula feels a little bit different. All right, so this is dose of cocoa on the bottom here. Let me go ahead and same thing. It smells incredible. I just, I, I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate, let me tell you, but these smell so incredible that I absolutely love them. I don't even, I, it just, it, I smell it and it smells just like something from my childhood. It's ridiculous. This is what Dose of Cocoa looks on the lips. This really, really beautiful, pale, almost gray nude just wears so beautifully. I think this is a color that you can most definitely wear on its own. Or if you wanted to actually go and use it with a lip liner to make it a little bit more wearable, um, I think it's gonna be phenomenal for that as well. It's not a sticky ass box of chocolates, but as it's drying, it is getting a little bit more sticky, which is a little disappointing because these are such beautiful shades. I'm trying to fan her out and see if that would kind of help. And the thing about it, it's like, are you applying too many coats? Like, I don't know. I don't think I am because like, I'm only applying what's necessary to get that even, you know, coverage. I'm not dipping more than twice inside the actual tube. I think it's such a beautiful color though. Oh, L'Oreal girl, colors are in everything. What's going on with this formula? I even tried dusting um, with the previous box of chocolate. I even tried dusting my lips with powder. It didn't work at all. Mm -hmm. The more this dries, the more sticky it gets. I don't know what's going on and why is this happening. Oh, God, it's always a good tones that always do this. I really like it though. Um, I will say something, the applicator is really, really good to lip your lines, to line your lips. It's really good to line your lips. And I think it's unfortunate that these lipsticks are literally doing this. Who the hell would want to like walk around? Not that anybody can see you now with your mask, but still who would want to get that like that? Mm, oh no, I'm so upset about it. All right, let me try and remove this one and let's go to the last shade that I purchased. Ugh, again, such a stunning shade. Let me cross my fingers, hopefully that it doesn't do it. Before I take it off, this one's called 70% Yum and it's a really nice, rich chocolate. Same beautiful fragrance. Look at this color. I mean, look at all three colors. They're just stunning to create a beautiful ombre lip. Just stunning colors. I just don't understand what the hell is going on. They have six different colors. I only was able to get three because they were literally out of stock. Guys, if this stickiness happens to you, please let me know in the comment down below because I'm kind of frustrated and I'm kind of confused on why this is happening. Because, granted, Dose of Cocoa is a little bit less sticky than Box of Chocolates, but they're very, very sticky. It's just like, girl. But the tone is outrageously beautiful. <sighs> Let me take her off and let's go on to the next one. This is what 70% Yum looks like. It's such an iconic, beautiful, dark lip. Very rich brown. Love it. Ah, uh, uh, I'm sad. Realistically, I'm gonna tell you something. I like the packaging, I really did. Price point is really good. Shades are incredibly beautiful. There was not a shade in the collection that I did not like out of the options that I have in front of me. Not a shade that I did not enjoy, but the formula, I don't know, you guys. Like, leave the comment down below. Is it? me that I have a bad formula? Like this one's the not stickiest out of them all. Like, 
I don't know what happened. I did the same amount of codes. Um, ah, it's such a beautiful color, like the opacity and how nice and strong the pigment is. It's just ridiculous how good it is. But I don't understand why. I don't know. I don't know. I, I did let this dry a little bit more um, before I decided to come on and like discuss it, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Overall, I really like the pigments. So I'm just really disappointed over the performance of them. You know, in this channel, I have to be realistic and very honest with you guys. Unfortunately, due to them being that sticky, it's just like not cool. So I'm just like flabbergasted because I, I can't believe how much I like the colors, how much I love the intensity and how incredible these lipsticks are for the fact that they don't budge at all. But you saw the formula, it's just like super sticky. And this one is the one that's like the least amount of sticky. It's still sticky, but there's nothing coming off. Wow. Yeah, you can see. It's very sticky. Ah, so that sucks. It sucks because I really, really love the fragrance. I love the pigment. I love how potent they were. Um, I just don't know if I can put up with how sticky they are. I don't think I would enjoy, you know, just kind of like walking around and doing my thing with how sticky the formula is. Hmm. Overall, I love the pigmentation, I love the fragrance, and I really, really like the packaging. For 10 bucks, they're iconic. On the fact that that formula does not budge, that's just like iconic, but it's so sticky and you saw yourself. I don't know if, again, this is a bad formula that I may have gotten. Leave it in the comment down below if you had a similar experience or if you did not. They're really beautiful. Like, I am just so upset over the fact that how beautiful these guys are and how poorly they're performing because of that stickiness. I will say this, the more they dry, the less amount of stickiness it comes in, but it's still gonna be sticky. So I would just tell you, be careful. It's an amazing price point for these, but would I recommend it just because of the stickiness? No, but overall, I, I am having a really hard time saying, no, I don't recommend this because it hits all of the marks, you know, it doesn't dehydrate the lips. Like I've taken three shades off that you guys saw how hard it was to take off. Um, and it, it, it didn't dehydrate my lips and it's not uncomfortable on the lips. It's just that stickiness that really is the only issue. But other than that, I really, really loved it. I love the fragrance. I can't even smell the fragrance anymore. So it's just kind of like on the bottle uh, or the tube, but Man, I'm so disappointed. I'm really, really disappointed on the fact that they hit all of the marks to be such an iconic, successful piece on this channel. But due to the fact that they're super, super, super sticky, I don't know. I don't know. Literally, I just, I don't know. <laughs> but I will tell you this, um, definitely once it dries, it, it reduces the stickiness of it. I just don't necessarily know if, um, if if it's a normal thing, the ones that I have. Um, like I said, please leave the comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the craziness. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It helps us a lot. Thank you, please. And the notification bell so you don't miss any of the craziness. And girl, binge watch. You know it's a thing. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.